Billions of people around the world rely on meat and meat products as their main source of protein. But research shows the production and consumption of meat have a significant impact on the health of our planet. And that seed inventors and innovators around the world working to find new ways of producing protein without exploiting animals. Recently, Masa met American inventor and entrepreneur Arturo Elizondo, who's developed the world's first chickenless egg. Intrigued? So were we. Chicken, eggs, beef. These are the proteins we rely on every day. But what if the very protein we depend on is unsustainable? The way we make animal protein today is the number one cause of extinction on Earth. It is the number one cause of deforestation, the number one cause of ocean dead zones and water pollution. I decided that this is the problem that I wanted to dedicate my life to solving. Meet Arturo Alessandro, founder and CEO of The Every Company. We recently met this global food pioneer at the Singularity Summit here in Johannesburg. I love this country. I love, I love its people. One is it reminds me a lot of home because you know, like Texas with our barbecue culture, the fry culture here is very strong. Yeah. And so, you know, there's a lot of familiarity with it. I have found South Africans to be incredibly progressive and like open-minded and like excited about potential. And that's very contagious. With the global population reaching 8 billion and projected to hit 10 billion by 2050, our demand for protein is skyrocketing. But can we keep up without breaking our planet? Arturo thinks we can. He's disrupting the world of protein. Our protein, you, you can use, you can consume it as a powder or a liquid. And you know, we, we're, we're an ingredient company. And today, we're going to put one of his inventions to the test. So Masa, if you have a look over here now. We're in the kitchen with entrepreneur, chef, and former Kukadur winner, Gorli Prinsloer, who says you don't have to be a vegan or vegetarian to be concerned about the impact of food production on the environment. I'm very open if it comes to alternatives, because now your menu can still grow. You can still get all your nutrition that you need. Meringues are the perfect way to showcase the essential role of eggs in a recipe. So, Gurli, today we're going to make a meringue using real chicken eggs. Yes. But also, I must tell you, I don't know how to make meringue, so I'm very excited. <laughs> so, I think we can start off by um, doing the egg whites. And, and to be clear, we've got eight chicken eggs. Yes. While we're adding the sugar, it needs to melt. So, you'll see there, look at that nice peaks. Oh. So, this is going to go into the oven. And, of course, we have to fill all this meringue. We're going to decorate it with... Um, some fresh fruit. That looks beautiful. Yeah. Now you've got a lovely dessert well, for your guests. <laughs> we'll see how Arturo's replacement eggs shake up to Corley's trusted recipe a little later. The American entrepreneur and inventor was born near the Texas-Mexico border. I am one of six kids. I grew up on the border between Texas and Mexico, actually on both sides. I remember seeing little kids my age who had no shoes and were selling gum on the street. I realized had I been born a few miles south of the border or to different parents and in a different zip code, my life would have been completely different. Driven by gratitude for his upbringing and a desire to make a difference, Arturo headed to Harvard University to study governance. I ended up interning for my congressman in Texas um, at the White House and President Obama. After experiences at the U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Supreme Court, it was during a semester of diplomacy studies in Geneva, Switzerland, that Arturo discovered his true mission, protein. This revelation set him on a path he could never have imagined. Industrial farming is a race to meet the demand for food that we can't win. 
Arturo came face to face with this fact in a news article 12 years ago. The headline read, China has doubled its own meat consumption in less than 20 years. And as I kept reading, it was talking about this broader trend globally. And I was like, like we have this huge surge in demand year after year over year, and yet we don't have the resources as a planet to feed everyone um, if we continue consuming the way that we are. How are we not talking about this? Factory farms, often hidden from public sight, confine animals, cramming them in spaces with no sunlight, pumped with antibiotics and hormones, churning out proteins to meet massive demands, but at devastating costs. Animal protein production drives 80% of rainforest destruction, fuels three out of four new infectious diseases, and, according to some studies, emits more greenhouse gases than the entire transportation sector, accelerating global warming. A lot of it is because it's, it's not just growing the animals, it's all the feed. I had no idea that our food system was doing this. At just 22, Arturo packed his bags and set out to change the world of food, heading straight to San Francisco. My parents weren't happy because <laughs> um, I, I, was, I was basically jobless and I had no place to stay. What I told my, my, my mom and dad is, I'm going to give myself six months, see if I can make it happen. And if not, then I'll go back and get a real job. I realized then that if I wasn't going to be doing this, then, 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 then who? He came up with the idea of making egg proteins using a laboratory process instead of farming chickens. If we could help food companies be a little bit more sustainable, use a, bit, a little bit less water, less energy, and use ingredients that don't have the antibiotics or the hormones or any of that, then you know, we'd be making a difference. Today, he brought us the world's first egg white made without a chicken. And part of why we chose egg proteins is because they are so incredibly functional. They're some of the most nutritional and functional proteins on the planet. Alternative proteins, often plant-based, are already on the market. But this is something different. Think of the process like brewing beer, but with a twist. Arturo's team takes the DNA recipe chickens use to make egg proteins and with a bit of fermentation magic, whips up a product that's identical to real eggs. But this egg white comes in powder form and doesn't look anything like an egg. Will it act like one? We had lots of eggs, right? Yes. <laughs> and then in the place of the lots of eggs, is this our special product? Yes, that is mm -hmm. indeed. You can just put it in our bowl. You're gonna see it's, it has to dissolve, basically. One of the nice parts about being able to ferment the protein instead of using chickens is that there's no risk of salmonella. It whips quite faster and it's very foamy. When you were thinking of this, where did you see it going? My vision was I don't want to get my food from factory farms. Like, is there a way that we can have you know, our cake or meringue and, and eat it too? Yeah. Um, and, and deliver an uncompromised experience. But I think it's something worth fighting for. Let's slot this in the oven. It really is a science, but here's our final result. How pretty is it? <laughs> it's science, but also art. First, I must admit, I did tell you earlier. Yeah. I was a little bit skeptical. <laughs> I was like, how does this power transform into something sustainable? As soon as I started whipping, it's like mm -hmm. I could not believe. But the proof is in, well, the pudding. So, are you ready to taste? Definitely. For an unbiased verdict, we've invited another chef for a blind tasting. One who doesn't know the product and hasn't seen the process. Enrico Persigani, head chef and co-owner of Sin Restaurant in Johannesburg. We ask Enrico to compare the two versions of meringue. First, he tries the original. It's a little bit crunchy and you can feel the airy side of it. Mm -hmm. Obviously the toppings are nice too. I'm going to turn the plate for you, then you can taste the other one. Yes. I don't know, it's slightly more sweet. 
to be honest. So I believe the second one is the one with the free egg-free scenario. And the first one was the real one. Am I correct? You yes. are yes. indeed, yes. indeed <laughs> correct. <laughs> Our ratios may need some tweaking, but we can be forgiven since this is the product's first use in a South African recipe. Oh well, I'm gonna keep eating, yeah? <laughs> I'm not gonna stop. There you have it. Arturo is charting a new course for sustainable protein, proving we can reshape the future one bite at a time. Thanks for watching. Why not drop us a comment below? We love reading your opinions. Remember, you can now access Carte Blanche stories anytime, anywhere, even offline. Carte Blanche, the podcast, is now available on all major podcast platforms. So be sure to hit that follow or subscribe button and be part of our growing online family.